is indeed rising. All around us, we see more and more images of hope, beauty, sunshine, and laughter, fueled by the spirit of entrepreneurship. Basically, whether it's a Matatu driver, whether it's somebody who's trying to build an extremely uh, complex tech solution, as long as you have seen a problem somewhere and you're trying to provide a solution that you can monetize on, and you can find people willing to pay for it, I consider you an entrepreneur. You know, it, it's one of those things with entrepreneurs, you figure out your culture and what you're good at further down the line. You know, when you start off a business, you want to do everything, you, you will accept anything and everything. So they just need to do their research and see what they're actually going into. You don't just go into business because Tom is doing it well, or Jane is doing it well, I will go into that business. No, it's got to be something that you love, something that you really want to go into something that you're passionate about. For me, being an entrepreneur is about being able to see a situation and you want to be able to solve it. Now, some people solve it by creating a business that actually uh, meets that need. At the end of the day, you just need to ask yourself, what skill set do you as an individual have? All innovators are known to be inquisitive. They're always asking why. And then uh, innovators are also very observant. They tend to observe different threads and then change to accommodate the threads. If the young people embrace entrepreneurship, start businesses and stop thinking about being employed, and when you get into that business, it will grow. Mistakes will always happen, but it's better for them to happen now when you're still a small company, when you're losing, let's say, 5,000 shillings or you lost 10,000 Kenyan shillings, and learn from these mistakes. Embrace failure, use it as an experience. Are we starting businesses that create value, that add value to society? The business that you're going in, does it make sense? And I think, you know, we're really becoming more and more open to listening and learning. You have to be able to show people that this is our vision, this is where we want to go, and this is how you can be a part of this journey, and this is why being a part of this journey is important. If you must compete with the, whoever is in the market giving the same products, then it has to be at least 20 times better than your competition. You have to look for business that is unique. First and foremost, be customer centric. Find out who is your customer. And when you take your customer as your king and you say customer is going to be prevailing as long as you've got products that meet their needs, they're the ones who keep you in business. So keeping that in line is important for any entrepreneur, for any business person. Many of us, as we succeed, we forget or we feel we have been so successful. We even use wrong words like, I have a business which runs itself. I can go for holiday. There's no business which runs by itself. I find our young people today think they can come into a company and tomorrow they are driving a BMW. I always tell our young people, it doesn't happen overnight. If you really want to create wealth or value, be innovative and creative because markets have a tendency of rewarding uh, uniqueness. And so, as we gather here in Nairobi, Kenya's entrepreneurs are delighted to extend our country's fabled warmth and hospitality to the entrepreneurs of the world. Karibuni! <laughs>